Hello everyone, welcome back again to another video. As you can see, this solar panel is supposed to be a bifacial panel. It's supposed to be, let's say, at best, this panel is supposed to be 450 watt panels. But they gave us a sticker, and on the sticker, it's written 550 watts. But I'm not sure this panel is 550 watts. I want to do a couple of checks to really know whether what is written on the nameplates of the panel is true or what is written on the sticker is true. Okay, you can see this is how a bifacial panel looks. At the back, you see it also looks like the front. It also looks like another panel at the back, right at the back. But let me show you something. If you check this sticker, you see it's, it's Sunflex. Sunflex solar 25 years warranty. Then check the maximum power of the solar panel. It's weighted 550 watts, right? Okay, but I don't think it's Sunflex because if you check the sticker of this panel, so if you check the, the terminals, you see it is boldly written Trina Solar. I don't know if you can see it properly. It's Trina Solar. If at all, I think the Trina Solar is the right brand of this panel, brand name of this panel, not even the Sunflex. Because this one is boldly written on the terminals. You can see Trina Solar. Check the negative terminal, it's also written Trina Solar. But this sticker that was placed here is Sunflex and it's carrying 550 watts. Then you and I know that this is not 550 watts because 550 watts most times is taller than this, longer than this, and even has more width in some cases. But this one is just this small and you can call this one 500 watts. Maybe they just wrote this sticker to deceive people that it is 550 watts so that they can buy. This is actually 450 watts at best. It's 450 watts. Then one thing I also noticed about this panel, we front to the front, you see, I don't know, check this part, you see Canadian cells. I know about Canadian solar, it's also a brand for that makes solar panels. But you see Canadian cells. So how can we have both Canadian cells, China solar, and Sunflex on one panel? I don't understand how that came about. I personally don't understand how that came about. But nevertheless, we are going to do the VOC, the open circuit voltage test, and the short circuit voltage test to see what we have. Uh, it is uh, past 11 in the morning here in Nigeria. Let's see the, vote, the value of the open circuit voltage and also the short circuit currents. The open circuit voltage and also the short circuit currents. So, what we're going to do, just put the positive terminal on the positive probe. And by the way, so I didn't bring my microphone, I left it. This is 46.03. Can remember in my previous solar panel test, most times we get 44, 45, 4. It's 46 weighted voltage, but right now, if you check maximum power here, we have so with the VOC here, we have 51.2 volts. There's a disparity there 51.2, but we're having 43. You see, so that one is there. So we can also check the let me that one. Let's check this for a second. Okay. Yeah. Let's be patient a bit. Let's observe the currents. The current is really not an issue, but let's just see what we can have at this time of the day. This amperage measurement. We are having 2.9 amps. Of course, when you bring it down, you see the current will increase. Take it down. Take it by down. The current will increase. So let's just leave that for now. So we have been able to establish that. Before you buy a panel, observe them very well because most times these marketers can deceive you to buying panels that are not what they're not up to the readings or the weighted uh, parameters that we ha that you have on stickers. Because this thing might just might just be mere stickers and not what the written from the manufacturers. Well, thank you very much for watching this video this time. I'll see you in my next video. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like and share my video.
See you again. Bye.